Welcome to my channel, new visitors. And welcome back my subscribers and returning viewers. Please click the like button, and share this video with friends and family. Subscribe for more videos, and click the notification bell, so you can be notified with my latest uploads. The Future of Transport, Podcar Feasibility Study, to be conducted in Mandawi Cebu. This is the future of transport, and it is within our reach. We are living in times of innovation and progress. Mobility company Futron Philippines Incorporated introduces Pod Cars, a green concept of transportation. Company President Jose Christopher Joey Fournier II has come to an agreement with Mandawi City's local government unit, Mayor Jonas Cortes, for the feasibility study together of the said feature, the very first sustainable people mover project in the country. However, a suspended and elevated transport system is not new to other countries, with Germany as the first to have run it. Along with China and Japan, it is widely used by the public with a daily ridership of thousands, and has been proven to be safe and reliable. Fournier emphasized Mandawi City as one of the fastest growing cities in Cebu, stating that he believes it is good choice because it is also a green city. Remaining sustainable with its progressiveness, fitting the said green concept, The mayor voiced out the city's commitment to further developing the city without compromising the needs of future generation, therefore they agreed to explore the mass transport system project, which is aimed to be environmentally friendly. With that in mind, the pod car will be powered by solar energy. It will elevate it so that its beams could have access to the sun Abed run smoothly. Despite its placement, it can easily blend into the city and not interfere the existing heavy traffic below and can even minimize traffic congestion, making the streets less busy. Mandawi City has been having a traffic that is worsening. The feasibility study has taken effect upon the signing and the research will run for six months. Should the need arise, the process can be extended to another half a year. Once the feasibility study is finished, Fournier stated that they can finally plan where to implement the system, the deployment as well as its stations. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. See you on the next. Stay safe, God bless and bye for now.